Things are going to get really dark today. Our only job is to murder each and every one of these defenseless pink circles. And they can't do anything about it. They just have to accept their fate. While they slowly watch their brothers and cousins and children die around them. Plus when we get impatient, we can just do this. And we're gonna leave only one there, the last of his kind. He's probably already forgotten the rest of his brothers and sisters. And they have a spin attack now, so I can dodge. And I think we want to add a laser gun. Chance to fire a laser that pierces through enemies. And now we're dealing with big pink circles. So they're probably the parents. We've just massacred the kids and we're going to continue to do so because they're easier. Luckily I'm actually a surgeon so I can very carefully weave between all of these dangers. Well, I'll take out one of the big ones just to see, okay, they pop into smaller ones. As long as I don't touch them when they're raging, we're going to be perfectly fine and it's not that hard to avoid yet. How about you? Do you want some pokes? Do you want some penetration? Mm, the final moron. I wonder how many laser beams we can have at once. If we buy the onion, it reduces the max health for all enemies. And we also have a saw blade now, chance to create a saw blade dealing damage to enemies over time. So are we going to leave a saw blade behind that's just sort of going to torture them? Uh, they do have some ranged projectiles now, so we'll go ahead and take those out. And then it's back to the children, who mostly just sit here and accept their fate. We're already one-shotting them. Where's my saw blade? Maybe if I kill things, it doesn't have a chance to happen because the things are dying anyway. So many questions, so little time to answer them. I did just get a saw blade going. Uh, you just gotta hit things routinely, and now for the first time I see you get a multiplier for hitting them in a row. So you're not supposed to make them suffer like I am. Chance to deal triple damage? I don't even need to read the rest. Take that, beehives, and you can have a saw blade that's wildly powerful. Then it's just this guy. Big smile on his face as the sword of his death moves ever closer to his eyes. Inevitably, it's going to touch him and he's going to pop. Magma leaves a fire trail that burns enemies. I do like this one because we can just go like that and then we can burn them all alive for a second. Then it gets a little bit harder to do because we're kind of waiting on timing. Can I have a saw blade? There it is. I like that saw blade. It makes everything look so easy. Wave five, done. Chance for dead enemies to summon a ghost to attack other enemies. So now as we kill them, we're going to get ghosts to pop out once in a while. So we're making them fight each other now. Those missiles are going to get annoying. Well, let's even get a saw blade going somewhere in the middle of that. It is going to get a little more difficult to dodge this all there's a saw blade and I did see a ghost. I made your family die and then they murdered the rest of your family. How does that feel? You know what? Don't answer that. Since none of these are offensive items, we're gonna reroll. Increase the number of weapon options by one. Yes. Now we get more picks. We get a higher chance to create a saw blade. I'm really liking the saw blade. Uh, and those guys seem to spawn uh, great amounts of electricity so I can't touch them at that point. Can I have some saw blades? There's a saw blade and some ghosts. It seems so calm when it's just these guys again. They do so very little about anything. And I'm getting enough damage now that I pretty much accidentally kill everyone always. Higher chance to create a saw blade again. Can we just get max level saw blades? That's gonna be better. We got two saw blades there and all we did was hit two idiots. <laughs> Look at all the saws now. Higher chance to do triple damage. Maybe at some point we get a boss fight here. Would you guys take some saw blades? Well, there's one saw blade here. Have some more. Whoops. Didn't mean to touch that. I got hit for the first time. And someone left me their heart. Or the saw removed it from their body. I can't really tell. This is going to be fun. If we can get enough saw blades going, we can just turn the whole screen into saw blades. So now when we're feeling particularly adventurous, we can just kind of swirl in there a little bit and unleash the saws and ghosts. We did take a hit there, but I'm not that worried about it. They try real hard. Most of the times I just poke things and it erupts in damage. I don't really like any of those. I want all off. Offense. Deals one more slash damage for every 10 combo you have. Yes. So then it's just a matter of keeping the combo up and we have a higher chance of saw blades again. So to start this, here you go, have some combo and damage. They must be getting stronger. Well, they did come armed with the mustaches, but they aren't fooling me. I think those are still pink slimes. But I have been fooled before. This one must be like that extravagant uncle that you only ever see once every few years who has wild stories of his life from the other side of the world. And five in a row. We're also going to add a chance to attach a bomb to an enemy. I like how we call these like enemies. As if we're not just straight up genociding them in their entire lives. Clearly they're the bad guys here as we march into their home and destroy them all. Fire trail lasts longer. We can burn them more. Here you go. We got some new mushroom guys now. But those saw blades are doing some work and the fire probably is too. These mushrooms are going to get annoying so we are probably going to have to kill them. Then we can start to take it not seriously. Yeah, this works a little better. Only one mushroom to deal with and he got saw bladed to death. My health is starting to drop just a smidge so we're going to have to start paying just a little bit of attention. But it's just so much fun to torture them. Do you think they get nervous if I do this? I can actually drag the fire through them without touching them. I can just slowly burn them to death. This is great. Level 5 saw blade. Even better. Okay, you guys want some saw blades? There you go. Enjoy. Saw blades and fire. What did these guys do again? They're the most human looking things we got. Okay, they fire multiple projectiles, but I can just poke them and then they die. The big slimes are just easier to hit. They have more health, but it's not really hard to hit them. They're so big. Oh, they spawn uh, medium slimes. It spawns small slimes. I get it now. So we just get the babies once the babies pop out. And got them. 
This is the kind of item I want. Deals one more slash damage when you complete a wave, but stack is lost on taking damage. So every time we complete a wave, we get damage until we get hit and then it resets. Higher chance to deal triple damage, because you can just never have too much damage. How do you guys feel about that? I mean, if we really want, we can just harass them one at a time. As long as they're not angry, we give them a little poke and then we poke their neighbor and then we poke their children. I don't want to take damage now because I don't want to lose my damage. Those saw blades are extra efficient when there's this many slimes. I haven't really been paying attention to the damage readouts now. I think I saw 45 on it, probably a triple hit. And 45 seems like a lot for these little pink innocent slimes. They do get a little bit out of timing, so you got to be just a little bit careful when you want to unleash your saw blades. But for the most part, you just do that and then you win. And then it's straight back to upgrading things even more. More saw blades. Here you go. That's a lot of saw blades. That's a lot of damage. Here you go. <laughs> Some more. Every time we touch them now, it's just saw blades. I'm going to cut you in half and find out what's inside of you. Let's have a higher chance to deal triple damage again. Here you go. They have alien ships firing lasers at me now. But as long as I'm slowly moving, I don't think anything can actually hit me. And they're pretty weak to saw blades as it turns out. But this actually does get a lot more challenging because you really have to pay attention to what's going on. And it's very easy to lose track of where your cursor is. You only have one eye. But you could definitely see this coming. Higher chance for triple damage again. So there's got to be a lot of triple damages going out. I thought I got hit there for a second. Oh, that's different. So those guys swing those around them. But all I got to do is go like that. And I <laughs> murder them with uh, saw blades. That actually works out well because like if I hit the pink slimes, the saw blades will travel over to the other guys that are a little bit more dangerous. So the trick is to harass those guys and then that happens. And then again, I can just go like this and then they're dead. Alarm clock deals double damage briefly at the start of every wave. Combine that with higher chance to deal triple damage. And so if we go like this, we should be able to mostly take care of the waves before things even started. We found a dinosaur. The dinosaur's got an Uzi, so we actually need to be a little bit careful with him. That would hit us without much effort. I don't know what he's so mad about. I'm actually here to help him. I'm here to introduce some fire to him. Never mind. Higher chance to create saw blades. Here we go. Big damage beginning. I got hit there by something. I'm just going to saw blade everything because there's so many of them. The ghosts seem to have really taken over as well. Once I saw how many slimes there were, I figured we might as well just take a hit and just try and clear, clear it up a little bit. Otherwise, we would have been constantly uh, invaded by slimes. Our score is over 40,000. I don't yet know what that means, but our saw blades are max level. Ooh, a variety pack that are all very weak to saw blades. Well, these guys aren't the most weak to saw blades, but I don't think saw blades are generally good for anyone. I actually getting to be a big fan of those ghosts. The ghosts stay longer. I didn't realize they shoot projectiles themselves. Here you guys go. Enjoy some ghosts and saw blades. I think the game actually lagged for just a moment there and I forgot about the dinosaur again. Those are going to get annoying. Did you see how close the saw blades were to him? He must have been so scared. Revive with one heart on death? I mean, it's inevitable. I'm going to do something stupid. More ghosts. Do you guys like ghosts? Wow. That was a quick wave. Okay, well, uh, more ghosts, I guess, then, because the ghosts seem to be doing it for us. Ghosts and saw blades, the winning formula. Uh, I did get hit by the projectiles there. Those dinosaurs are getting quick firing. Okay, so what we did is we murdered the dinosaur. He's no longer a threat. And then we get the spaceship. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're going to have max level triple damage chance. I don't know what that actually, like, works out to, but it's max level. So we have a lot of chance to deal triple damage, and that's just going to be a lot. So much so that I stopped taking it seriously quite a while ago. Go stay longer again. Wave 25, what do we got? <laughs> I should not do that at the beginning because it's getting hard to see what's happening. This one's mean. Enemies take longer to attack you at the start of each wave. Combine that with more ghosts and that means at the start we could just go like that and pretty much destroy the whole wave without even trying. More ghosts and more wave death. While these guys were a little bit stronger, we at least have a mushroom and uh, this guy who's partying way too hard. So the mushroom every once in a while does that, but I mean, we could just kind of go like that and then he's done and then the saw blade launches at that one. Got him. We now also have level eight ghosts, so they stay as long as possible. So if we have some of them spawn, they will throw their projectiles out. This wave is definitely noticeably more difficult though. Like look how many different things there are. So much variety for me to have to kill. Uh, and then we're supposed to choose one weapon. Uh, it's a hard choice here. I'm not sure what I want to go with. Probably a reroll and a reroll again. Okay, we don't seem to have a weapon choice. I think we broke the game again. I redid it, grinding all the way back to wave 29, and we run into exactly the same problem. A little while later, we seem to resolve the problem at level 29. And we have a pretty similar build again anyway, so it's like we didn't miss a beat. And we're gonna add a little bit of lightning. Lightning bolts jumps to nearby enemies. I'm sure they'll enjoy that. Electrocution pairs very nicely with being burned alive. And I've learned we can actually get our combo pretty big if we're not being an absolute moron. So it doesn't happen very often, but the combo can get 
up to 500. I think maybe more electricity. I'm really enjoying electrocuting things right now. Well, we electrocute them and then the ghost army takes over from there. And things look easier than they are. If you're not having a clear strategy, you can actually die very quickly. And this time we have a score of almost 74,000 already. So that feels pretty good. And my strategy so far is just do this for a few seconds at the beginning of the wave. And then we'll figure out what happens after that. Which mostly leaves everything dead anyway except him and the one-eyed alien. Okay, we have max level pretty much all of our upgrades except bombs and magma trail, so sticky bombs are fun. We can never have too big of explosions. I don't think I even saw this wave. It basically evaporated before my eyes. So bigger bombs. More chance of bombs. Uh, okay, these waves are actually evaporating and this is almost wave 40. Spawns an orbiting shield that blocks incoming projectiles. That sounds good because I don't make a lot of effort to dodge. I just try and kill everything before they have a chance to attack anyway, and it actually works fairly well. Like, obscenely well sometimes. Our damage is getting really high. Uh, I'm seeing lots of hits in there. I saw for 96. I, I know earlier 45 seemed like it was a lot, so 96 seems very good. Wave 41, we're coming up on almost 100,000 score. Whoops, I did get hit there, but I got a little overzealous. When there's that many slimes to kill, you just can't help yourself. And I think like when we do this at the beginning now, we're probably also attaching quite a few bombs in there. But this wave's actually pretty uh, decently powerful though, like I'm not instantly evaporating them. Uh, at least until I hit them the second time, and then they're in trouble. But if I didn't have the right power-ups, this would have actually been somewhat of a challenge. Uh, and that thing still hit me, but my little army of ghosts is actually very strong. I got an achievement for getting over 100,000 scores, so that feels pretty good. I've achieved something for the first time in my life. Hmm, these levels are actually getting kind of hard. I'm under constant bombardment right now, so I kind of have to keep moving while not moving into danger. And then I mostly let the saw blades take over and do all the thinking for me. Now my fire trail lasts longer. I mostly just need to get the damage and saw blades going right away like that and it mostly just disintegrates the wave. And then we can move in and uh, take our bites as we see fit. Also, when we pick up a single heart now, we get healed two hearts, so that definitely works to my advantage. I saw the bombs go off there. I think my favorite part about this game is the hyper-realistic art style. Like, this definitely looks like a dinosaur. Just a few of them left now. I think later in the levels, they do uh, vary their attacks, so they're not all attack at the same time, because it's actually hard to find a clear path through there, because I keep getting hit. And with other variety of things coming my way, yeah, it's actually hard to see them coming. We're down to two hearts suddenly. Mostly because I keep walking into things I shouldn't, but now that it's a little quieter, we can take calmer bites. The game led me to a false sense of security. I can't play stupidly forever. More fire trail. All right, we're going to be a little more cautious at the beginning. And we still got hit by something. All right, we cannot get hit again. Yeah, this actually gets surprisingly hard. Like right now, I can touch anything and I'm being constantly chased by things. So I really just need to do my best to take a little bite here and there and not touch one of the many, many things you see. I got a heart back. That feels good. I think my best bet at this point is to just tickle the edge of things. Find a weakling amongst the edges and they'll hopefully launch a saw blade into the rest of them then I don't really have to get any closer to danger than I have to right now. It does get pretty hard to find a safe path in there at times. Now we can just go crazy. I think more magma trail. So there we go, we'll get started. Saw blades, everything, just slowly make our way around the outer perimeter while taking bites where we can. And we saw a path forward, so we took it. There's a lot of things to dodge. Okay, this wave isn't quite as bad. I think we're gonna get away with this one unscathed. Could you guys drop some more hearts? You dropped so many when I didn't need any. This is just their revenge. Wave 47, let's get some saws and damage going while we can greedily and whoops, work away around the outside. Can I have some hearts? There's a lot of enemies and things to hit. Okay, we're low on HP again and we actually died. There was a heart in the center. Oh no, wait, we come back to life. I forgot I picked that up. I didn't think we'd need that, so I completely dismissed it. Okay, so let's regain our composure, not get hit by anything. Careful. We're good. Yeah, I very much forgot I picked up the resurrection thing because I didn't actually think I was going to die. But like always, I predict things entirely wrong and embarrass myself. Wave 48. Okay, now all of our upgrades are maxed. Uh, so, okay, that wasn't my fault. I just wasn't paying attention. That's not my fault. I blame that on I don't know what. There's a heart. Got it. Once you kind of take stock of where and what things are, it gets a little bit easier, but it still gets pretty full of different stuff. Okay, we're going to wander through there. These guys are being nice. Those guys are being nice. Okay, whoops. We got it more or less under control. I wouldn't mind a heart or anything of the sort right now. This is getting surprisingly hard and stressful. Like, actually. I'm just hoping these idiots have some hearts for me. Uh, it just threw me straight into wave 50. I was not expecting that. I was expecting an upgrade menu, so that really caught me off guard. There's some hearts. Okay, I got the hearts. We're just going to power through this for a sec. We need damage. And hearts. Okay. Yeah, because we have max upgrades, I suppose it didn't put me in the menu, so that really, really threw me off. Suddenly I was just surrounded by damage. And wave 51 is the same thing. Alright, we're just going for it now. 
Okay, we're just gonna make a big mess with our saw blades. You know, maybe this is way is the way to go because if our combo goes up, we do more damage, we kill idiots quicker, they drop hearts. We could just tank through this. Ready, next wave, go. Can we tank through their damage or are we gonna die? Okay, I see a heart. We scooped it up out of there. There's another heart. The hearts despawn fairly quickly, so we need to also pick those up when we see them. Okay, ready for the next wave? Here we go, and we're gonna find a way to go back in. There we go. We do a little circle. We'll uh, go clockwise this time. Okay, that's another wave down. We're running out of HP. I forgot this whole time I have a dodge attack. Wave 53 isn't appearing for us. Oh, there's some babies in the corner I forgot. Now we got them. Okay, 53. We need some hearts. If we pick some up somewhere in the flurry, uh, we're just gonna let our saw blades do their thinking and work. Plus, we're lighting the entire world on fire by doing this. Hmm, that's working pretty well. 55. I don't know if the waves are getting harder or not, but something seems to be happening. That's a lot of projectiles. All right. We turned to doing the infinity strategy, but it let us down. Well, we got 1,579 diamonds. We use those to unlock different swords. I'm going to pick the one at the end. So next time we get to pay with a bomb blade. It creates an explosion that deals damage to nearby enemies and yourself. That's just the kind of thing I need. 